While debate opening in the House of Assembly this morning on a proposed amendment to the Central Bank Bill. Leading things off, Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, the Honorable Philip Davis, who used the opportunity to dismiss what he called the opposition's mistaken assumptions regarding the government's access to $232 million of the International Monetary Fund special drawing rights allocation and the proposed amendment as well. Davis making it clear up front that the SDR allocation is not alone. The IMF has explicitly outlined that the SDRs are an interest-bearing reserve asset allocated to participants to provide unconditional liquidity during challenging times. This allocation was given to countries, including us. We're not the only country to which this allocation was made to alleviate funding concerns caused by the devastating COVID-19 pandemic. As responsible leaders, we are committed to utilizing these funds for their legitimate and intended purpose as prescribed by the IMF. Now, despite putting the worst of the pandemic in the rear view, the Prime Minister reiterated that the economic harm following shutdowns and tourism revenue loss continues to reverberate. In August of 2021, in recognition that the pandemic was an enormous shock to the global economy, the IMF allocated $650 billion worth of special drawing rights. This was the largest, and I repeat, the largest, and I, and I repeat this word, debt-free. The largest debt-free form of support for low- and middle-income countries.